Let's start configuring the software on this flight controller. First thing we have to do is flash the firmware. Our do is a little strange in the fact that when you flash the firmware, you can't be connected. You can't connect here. If I connect and I try to flash the firmware, it will say, uh-uh. Well, even if you try to come into the screen, if I wasn't already there, let's say, and I come over here or I'm here, whatever, I go back to install firmware. It says you cannot load new firmware while, while connected via Mavlink. So first of all, you have to be disconnected. I'm going to do something I have never done before. I'm going to run some beta firmware. Uh, the reason for that is this 4.09 and below, I cannot get to run CRSF on the uh, Crossfire receivers. And I really want that bi-directional functionality. Uh, I don't have anything against PPM or SBUS. It's just uh, number one, can't run SBUS on the first channel of Crossfire Nano receiver. Uh, that's what I've got wired in because uh, I'm going to also fly this in my nap too. <coughs> Oops. Uh, so I'm going to actually use a beta version. So you click right here, beta firmwares, and here's your beta. There's actually a developer's version 4.2. I'm not a developer. I am not going to do that. But I am for the first time in life going to do a beta on a drone. I've done beta of all sorts of computer software for 50 years. <laughs> Click. Are you sure you want to upload a Ardu Plane 4.1.0 beta? Eh, as sure as I can be. More than one choice exists. Hmm. Oh, there's a 765 SE board. I have the wing. Upload firmware. I'm hooked into the Mini Talon with a USB cable, by the way. Two ways to connect. USB cable and my telemetry radios. Telemetry radios only take the place of a USB cable. I like to use one watt telemetry radios if I can find them because you can get about a 30 mile, 20 to 30 mile telemetry cable out of it. I mean USB cable. <laughs> telemetry connection. Say it replaces your uh, telemetry. So that's it. We'll go ahead. I unplug and uh, give the board a hard reset. Plug it back in. Now we can connect to start configuration. Can't be connected to Flash Firmware. <laughs> okay. So, it says I've got already playing 4.1.0 beta, beta 8, loaded. That's how you flash the firmware. <laughs>